Good day, guys, and welcome to a fantastic video here. This is the first time I've actually done like a multiple um, broadcast, so I'm really looking forward to this. On my right over there, I'm just getting used to StreamYard, we have Warriors NRL Fanatics. Obviously, my Eels taking on your Warriors this week, so we're really looking forward to delve into that much. Below me here, guys, you've got Trevor from Shut the Gates. Make sure you check out uh, Shut the Gates, fantastic YouTube channel, real quality content. I think it used to be quite serious and, and good tips, but it's become now just banter, and I just absolutely love that. <laughs> You've got here, oh, no, I'm doing it wrong. There, there. It, no, this is weird. StreamYard uh, wigs me out a bit, but down to my corner there, I give up, is uh, Nick from Australia, down here. There he is, Nick from Australia. <laughs> I hate StreamYard to an extent in that sense. <laughs> How are we all tonight, boys? Yeah, Can't good one. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Well, we'll all be attending Magic Round this week. I'm heading down on Wednesday. When's everyone heading down? Warriors and our all fanatics, you live that way, I believe? Yep, Gold Coast. I live on the Gold Coast, so I'll be up on Sunday. I'll be coming up on Sunday for the, the games, Perfect. which I'm looking That's forward to. Fantastic. I can't wait to, to watch. Can't wait to go. Trev, you're from Brisbane? Um, well, I live in Brisbane, yes. Yes, I'm yes, in nice. so I'll be, uh, are you I'll attend, be uh, are you entering now. all late? Yes. Yeah, I'll be there all, all the time. Perfect. Sounds good. And then, Nick, you're heading up on the Friday morning, I believe? Yeah, I'm leaving here about probably 8 a.m. Friday morning, get there around lunchtime. I'll be there for the whole weekend. I'm staying at the hotel Friday and Saturday, come back Sunday night. So looking forward to it. Should be good. Oh, it should be absolutely cracking. I'm just trying to get these comments up so we've got it. Yeah, Paddy G says Manly Plus. I know Rob Vince is 090. So busy the so whole week. Yeah, he does. You know the funny thing? He always says manly 30 plus or 40 plus, and they actually almost almost beat the Titans um 40 plus. So that was pretty funny there. But let's get straight into it. Obviously, don't reveal your tips, guys. We all have our retrospective own tipping videos for our channels, which I'm looking forward to. It's gonna be a really interesting week but uh your first game i couldn't give a shit about it's the west tigers and the newcastle <laughs> knights i just think it's a nothing game both of these sides were probably expected a lot more from this year and they're out of form tigers in 15th knights in 10th uh it's considered as a home game for the tigers um i just want to teach speak quickly on the tigers in regards to these reports and they're definitely only reports guys so don't start getting worried about the West Tigers being kicked out of the NRL for these new Queensland teams to, to come in. I, I think it's disgraceful. Um, I think they're a very proud club with some proud fans. I know they have probably failed the last few seasons and uh, they haven't got the roster there. But what are your thoughts on this, guys? Do you think that this will fire the Tigers up with these reports coming out from, um, from Madge and, and Daily Telegraph about the culture of the club being off and, and possibly being sold and destroyed? Um, well, you know, it depends who buys it. If anyone buys it, you know, if someone like Benny Elias buys it, then, um, you know, it's going to be keep being a proud club, uh, assuming he doesn't take it back to the Balmain Tigers and keeps it as West Tigers. We'll have to probably, wait and see. Probably one of the stupidest um, <laughs> reports I've ever read in my entire life. I, I can't believe the West, you know, if the West Tigers had a one on the weekend, we wouldn't be hearing any of this crap. So, you know, if the Tigers win a game or two or if they win a couple of games in a row, all this will be gone. So I don't know what the go is with this West Tigers getting kicked out of the competition. It's just – I think it's ridiculous. So um, all it takes is a couple of wins in a row, you know. It's the same as the Cam Raider situation, the George Williams homesick thing. You know, if Cam will win a few games, it'll all be forgotten. So this whole Tigers getting kicked out of the competition thing, ridiculous in my opinion. Has, Where is? Is, is it just West Tigers? At yeah, this stage, it's like, just West Tigers. That won't happen. It's so, such a silly report. Yeah. There's no way. Warriors, you're taking it? Uh, I don't think it'll happen either. Yeah, I think yeah, it's I don't it'll think be it'll ridiculous happen, if that happened, just... to be honest. Yeah, they're a proud, they're a proud club, part mm -hmm. of the NRL, have been for a long time. So it would be quite quite sad in my, my opinion. But... um. Yeah, I'm 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 not much for this game. I I might end up going there. 
Um, Alpha is, if you guys know, Alpha Kai will be part of the uh, Manly and Broncos vlog. He's a Tigers supporter, so maybe I could try and get him. I probably won't vlog it. I just don't think this game is worth vlogging at all, um, but that's just my opinion. Um, second game, which an interesting point from Paddy G. Um, if you're watching, he told me that Manly will obviously be – they're the home team, which I knew that, but they've actually got the home sheds. They're, they're going to be in the Brisbane Bronco uh, sheds because they're considered as the home team. So Brisbane getting the away sheds for this game, which is absolutely mm. hilarious. Um, both teams arguably, in my opinion, in a bit of form, and um, Broncos are a very different team at home, but – Manly will probably be too good and be sitting in the top eight if they win this game because they're currently uh, sitting in ninth. Um, Tommy Trebojevic is coming for that Dally M. Chasing down Nathan Cleary. Uh, what are your thoughts on this one, boys? And, and basically, what do you think of how they performed on the weekend as well? Well, the way they performed in, like, you know, midway through the second half, like uh, towards the end, you reckon they're going to be top eight easily. You know, the way Tommy T's playing right now, he he's going to be Dally M. You know, it's... It just looks that way already, unless he gets injured again, right? Like, and and to be fair, like, um, Manly always have uh, home sheds up here when they play up here in Magic Round, and they've taken a few games up here. Mm, mm. They used to have I the thought, double headers as well. Yeah, exactly. I, I thought Manly were okay without being brilliant. They still can't put an eighty-minute performance together, but they still defensively it's a concern. What they conceded was a twenty-eight against Penrith and. You know, 32 against the Warriors. So defense is still an issue. So, you know, I think they'll be one of those teams that are between that 7 and 11 position fighting for the 8. As long as Turbo stays fit, if he's if he gets injured again, they'll fall down to went around that 12th spot. So, you know, it's a big game for them, you know, going up there to play the Broncos who have been, you know, up and down. They've showed good signs in periods. They seem to not be able to play 80 minutes. They can play for 70, but they can't finish the game off. So... Um, it'll be an interesting game, that one. I think it could be a closer game than what we think. Most people will probably tip Manly, but it could be closer than what we think, especially with Brisbane having to use the away shed. That might actually fire them up. So uh, it might be a um, un bit of a you know unpredictable game in a way, I guess. And Warriors, obviously your Warriors took on the Manly Seagulls at Lotto Land and you could arguably say almost got the job done, almost got the chocolates in the end. They Absolutely. led at half time. Um, they they were getting flogged, but they they came back to to make it close. Do you think Manly will take a lot of confidence into Brisbane, or do you think they'll be a bit worried about Brisbane's kind of playing at Suncorp? Um, look, this one I reckon they will win it. Actually, I mean, you know, Brisbane. Uh, they they were in the, they were leading against the Cowboys actually. So I had Brisbane. I tipped Brisbane, but the Cowboys got up in the end. But yeah, I think Manly will take a lot of confidence. I think Manly will personally. I think they'll win, but it, it should be should be an interesting game actually. I think it will be a, a very good game, and I won't reveal my tip, but I'll just say that. Brisbane are yeah, definitely a, a better team, better team at home um, than they are away, and. I'll be supporting the Broncos. Doesn't necessarily mean I'll be tipping them, but I think it's a really good game. The next game is extremely interesting. Um, I'll be supporting the Bulldogs. I'm not going to tell you whether I'll be tipping them, but I'll be getting behind the Bulldogs at Magic Round for this vlog. you got the Bulldogs and the Canberra Raiders. Now, guys, do the Canberra Raiders deserve... We've seen how bad the Bulldogs are this season, but do the Canberra Raiders deserve to be a dollar fifteen right now? No. No way. <laughs> no. no. Dollar sixty, maybe. Yeah, doll, I would have said no. I would have said around that dollar okay. thirty-eight, and the Bulldogs at around three dollars <laughs> would have been acceptable for mine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. So, so the dogs. I personally didn't watch too much of the Dragons Dogs game. Not sure about you, Trev. I know you did, Nick, because I saw you putting posts up about it. Two injuries to oh. the Bulldogs. We have. So, uh, who was it? Uh, Corey Allen. He had a serious injury. So. There's no way he'll be playing. And who else got injured? That's Kyle probably Flanagan as well. Kyle Flanagan got dropped. That's right. For Lockie Lewis. Lockie Lewis did his hamstring or something. So, you know, Kyle Flanagan will probably be named to play tomorrow, but will he actually play though? Because they might bring in someone else like Brandon Wakeham. He could come in the side for all we know. But 
honestly, I don't want to be rude to the Bulldogs and Raiders fans out there, but this might be one of the worst games since Brisbane Canterbury back in round whatever round it was. It's going to be a stinker of a game. The form well, Canberra just... are in at the moment. If Canberra leads 16 18 nil, I'm not even going to be confident that they're home because we all seen that they've blown big leads all year. So I think it's going to be the worst game of the weekend, to be nah. honest. But, you know, I hope it's good, but I can't see it being a great game at all. Canberra are pretty good in the first half, I thought. Yeah. You know, they have been good it. in first halves. They can't. Yeah. They just can't do it in the second. It's like they were a couple of years ago. Yeah, exactly. I played uh, Rugby League Live 4 with this game, simulated it, and uh, I don't know if Josh Hodson will be in or if Starling will be in that nine, but Hodson got two, uh, Jack Whiten got two, and the Raiders came away with the chocolates 30 to nil. So we'll have to see if my Rugby League score was a reality. I've actually uh, heard I've actually heard that Josh Hodson is a big chance of returning because um, – a couple of weeks ago when he was ruled out, he rolled his ankle against Parramatta down there in Canberra. Now, rolled ankles normally take about a week or two to get over. So I, he was due back last week, but I think they just didn't play him because they wanted to play Tom Starling. So expect him to be named in the 21 tomorrow, but I'm not sure if he'll play. We'll see. The next game you've got at 5.30. I won't be doing a vlog. I'll be meeting a lot of the fans. Uh, you'll be it will probably, Nick, this will probably be maybe at halftime, the first time we meet, I reckon, um, unless we meet during Bulldogs and, and Raiders or Friday night or something. But, um, yeah, I'll be meeting fans at halftime for this one. So swing me a message on Instagram. If you want to meet any of us as well, just get in contact with us, guys, because we're – going to be very responsive to the fans this weekend. I want to speak about the Sharks and the Rabbitohs because it's not a great game, but it's a very interesting game. Now, the Sharks are coming off, and I called it. I called it. You saw in my tips last week, I said that Cronulla will be kept scoreless by the Penrith Panthers. I did tip 18-0, so I was very far off that. However, um, you've got the Sharks who have lost 48-0. You've got the Rabbitohs who are expected to put in a fight against Melbourne, but like People like me and Nick were, were tipping Melbourne 13 plus as a as an easy win, which I thought it would be. I didn't expect 50 nil. And who expected Josh Addo Carr to score six tries? I want to ask you guys, are the Rabbitohs 100% oh. going to win this game? They were beaten by 50. Penrith, uh, uh, Sharks were beaten by 48. The Sharks are paying 325. There's no Latrell Mitchell. There's no Adam Reynolds. Can we 100% lock in the Rabbitohs to win this I, I heard, I heard Adam Reynolds might play. Yeah, me too. Ooh, okay. So if, he, if, he, right plays, if he plays 100%, I'll win. Mm -hmm. like, but with, if, but without, um, him, without him, you just never know. They're a basket case without him by the looks of it. With, mm. with Adam Reynolds, Wayne Bennett did say, I believe it was in the press conference the other night yeah. against Melbourne, Re Reynolds will play if he's not sore. So I guess it comes down to his body now, but, you know. We'll see what happens there. That'll be a decision an hour before kickoff. I guarantee it. Yeah, most He'll likely. be named, though. Yeah. yeah. And Thank Warriors? Brent. Three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> Count him in. Uh, yeah, I think I think, I, I think Rabbitohs will, will probably win anyways. Uh, I just don't see Cronulla, you know. I personally thought they should not have sacked John Morris in the first place. I thought that was the wrong decision. So, yeah, I Rabbitohs for me. I think Rabbitohs will win, but yeah, I don't see I don't see any other other result. Even though the Rabbits lost last week. Yeah, it'll be an interesting game to see who who bounces back, and obviously both sides have quite a few players out for that one. I think okay. we'll have to say Wade Graham could be out as well. Yeah, I, if Wade, I don't if Wade Graham's gone. Sharks are gone. I can't yeah. see Wade Graham playing. I can't see him playing. I really can't. Um, with, with the Sharks, <laughs> now, look, obviously, obviously, Sharks um, are the better and team. Do do no worry about that. Um, what, I, what the hell is that noise? But um, what I will say about Cronulla is I think they need to figure out the right spine. Now, obviously, Townsend hasn't been playing great. Johnson's still finding his feet. And uh, Matty Moylan and Will Kennedy, they're trying to fit them all together now. Chad Townsend got hooked on the weekend. So what I would do, I'd go Moylan one, maybe put Will Kennedy on the wing and put and keep Townsend and Johnson in the house. But I am pretty confident in saying Townsend will be dropped tomorrow. I don't think he'll yeah. be named. I think it's too much, of a risk playing, too much of a risk playing Moylan at one to injure himself yeah. again. 
Yeah, yeah he's playing on six or fourteen, I think. Um, I would just straight up drop Chad Townsend. He's not going to yeah. be there next year. Uh, Moylan and and Sean Johnson, they're both fighting for contracts. So let them duke exactly. it out. Let them both Might be on the well. field. Let them play together. Yeah. I don't think right. Chad Townsend. I don't think he'll be named tomorrow. So I expect him to be named as Jersey Twenty or something because. I don't think he'll be playing tomorrow. No. Nah. All right. So the next game on uh, Saturday night, is it the game of the round? I don't know. you got the Sydney Roosters up against the North Queensland Cowboys. Now, the Cowboys, arguably, in my opinion, I think the Roosters over the years have been a really solid team, but they've got absolutely no one. Do the Cowboys deserve to be favourites? I'm not sure. Nah. They were paying $5 <laughs> on Friday night. They were paying $4 yesterday. They're now into $3.75, no. and I reckon it will be around three ten before kickoff. I can see it shifting to about that and the Roosters being around that $1.40, $1.50 mark, currently at $1.28, which is extremely short. Now, the Roosters, does Joseph Suwali debut, boys? He was denied being the uh, 18th man the other day. Does he play this week? Yeah, I think he has to. You know, The only thing that makes this game interesting is the Roosters' injuries. Um, I think I think they they if they were full strength they'd be carving the Cowboys this week. I think they played them in Magic Round 2019. Nah, is that the who they played? Nah, we played Souths last time. Oh, well, you know, well, but um, but yeah, I think I think the Roosters' injuries bring them down to Cowboys level. Um, look, it's going to be interesting. Look, obviously, we, we might have a few out. Lachlan Burr might be suspended. I think Mitch Dunn's fighting his charge. I think he did a crusher tackle. I might have been the shoulder charge. I can't remember that Broncos Cowboys game. Was so fast. Was so hard to keep up. But um, look, the Roosters definitely deserve to be favourites. They're probably they're obviously the better side. The, 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 the Roosters are the superior team. But Cowboys have won four the last five. They're in a little bit of decent form. I wouldn't say they're playing amazing. The, I think last week was probably the best game they played probably all year because you know I thought they. Well, they've always in the game against Brisbane. You know, they weren't playing one bad half and then one good half like they've been doing. So, look, I think Roosters deserve to be favourites. I think Sawali will probably be named to play. Wherever he does remains to be seen. But I think the Cowboys are a big chance, depending on who names who plays with the Roosters. But um, now, I, I know you guys are probably going to not believe this, but Sam Walker, I know he will probably play. There is a bit of an injury cloud around him. I know he's had a few injuries as of late, but he's still been playing. He did roll his ankle against Parramatta on the weekend. So roll ankles, like I said, they're not easy to get over in one week. And, um, you know, I think this game, will it be game of the round? I think it pro- I think it'll be the most entertaining game of the round. It might be high scoring, but, um, you know, on form, you'd have to think the Cowboys probably are a good, ch- good chance of winning this game. But, most people will tip the Roosters, I reckon. Warriors, anything to say about this game? And will it be game of the round? Uh, I think, you know, the Cowboys have been playing well lately. So, you know, they've got a good chance. Definitely they've got a good chance to to, to beat the got so easy and... Yeah. I'll still be tipping the Roosters, but... You know, they want to write the Cowboys off to to pull off a bit of a um surprise. I want to say it probably won't be an upset even if the Cowboys win because the Roosters have so many ups uh, injuries. They have so many injuries, so it, you never know if the Cowboys could pull something off. Oh, Trevor and me just laughing at that. We've got to count you in every time. Well, the next one um, we've got our our teams going head to head. You've got well, the guys, New Zealand Warriors. Yep. Well, guys, quick quick question. Before we go into the Warriors-Eels game, do you think Tedesco will play? Because Morata Niakure absolutely cleaned him up on the weekend. Do you think Tedesco will pass those HIAs and stuff to be at, to be all clear? Yep. He'll be right. I hope not. I hope he doesn't play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got the, maybe not. <laughs> you've got the New Zealand Warriors up against my Parramatta Eels. Now, I was telling Warriors and RL Fanatics, and I'm not going <clears> to tell you who I'm tipping – I, for the last four weeks, have circled this game as a loss. Um, I'm not going to tell you if I'm tipping a loss, um, but I've honestly thought the Warriors have done really well against the top eight sides. Um, Probably Canberra included in that, and they're not a top eight side right now, but 
who knows? Um, we've got a long way to go in the season, but very danger game for us, especially with the outs. Obviously, Dylan Brown deserves the three to four weeks he'll be getting. Murata Niakore, in my opinion, um, I think it definitely should have been a fine. I didn't think it was a f- I I don't think he should be suspended. That's my opinion. Not going to get into too much argument. But the Dylan Brown one, completely agree with. Um, I copped that one on the chin. Guys, who will be the number six for the Eels? Give you my thoughts. And I feel like Ryan Madison actually might be named in the number six jersey because I think it gives more control to Mitchell Moses as the half, the main half. Um, a lot of people, which you guys might say, um, another option is Bryce Cartwright because Will Smith, guys, he is still about two weeks away from injury. And apparently Jacob Arthur cannot be selected, which is a shame. I don't think he's ready anyway, Jacob Arthur. I'd be picking Jordan Rankin. if you, That's why you got him, right? <laughs> Otherwise, why do, why, do we, why do we buy him if we're not going to use him? Exactly. Assuming he, assuming he can play, like assuming Parramatta don't have any players to pick from, I don't know. But... um. But to, I think you just got to keep the forward pack how they're going. They're 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 rolling at the moment. If you if you disrupt it, then you know, um, you know you, you just you you're playing with fire. You got to pick. You got to play Jordan Rankin. I've been calling out for this guy to be in the seventeen for weeks. I I don't know why this guy hasn't been named. I know, <coughs> obviously, obviously when uh, when Dylan Brown was out, you know, I thought, come on, they've got to give Rankin a chance. Give him a run, you know. Cartwright and Madison, obviously they can do the job, but Jordan Rankin is overdue. He's been playing the New South Wales Cup for, what, since last year now, however long he's been there. So you've got to give him a run, surely. Oh, yeah, I actually, I actually rate him above I rate him above Will Smith, to be honest. Yeah, me too. Me too. Will Smith sucks. I'm just being honest. I don't like Will Smith. <laughs> well, let's, let's, we'll get Warriors in our old take and then we'll move into the next game. Three, two, one. Yeah, um, it's going to be an interesting three, game, two, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, uh, look, the, the Warriors' second half, in my opinion, was absolutely terrible. I wasn't happy with it. I, I was very uh, annoyed how we how we went in the second half. So, yeah, we have to improve in the second half. And, and we, we've started off games, but it's the second half we've been letting ourselves down. I mean... We'll, we'll let Tommy Troy, which call us up. And and I think with this, this game, I mean, uh, we're probably expecting, I think Ben Murdoch with Silla will definitely be back this week, so, which will be good to have him back in the lineup. So he'll be a good inclusion. And I think, yeah, I think you and Aiken will, will get an opportunity this week. I think he'll start. I yeah, see him I think starting he'll be back. He looks Aiken, getting ready. He needs to work on his defense. Yeah. Yeah, I, I well, let's... You and Aiken should be starting this week. And, uh, yeah, I, re- I reckon Reese Walsh will probably – I think Reese Walsh should start in this game, personally. In my, in my opinion, I think he should start. All yeah, right. Reese Walsh definitely has to start, um, I think, anyway. Let's I'll tell you what. To... I'll tell oh, you yeah, what. Nick... I reckon Wade Egan should move back to the bench as that Jersey 14. Put Nick Greenberg at dummy half for weeks, see how it goes, and go with Walsh and Harris Tavita in the halves. Harris Tavita, he was outstanding on the weekend. He hasn't played a game for about, what, almost, what, since early in the season. So, and he scored two tries. He was brilliant. So, you know, Reese Walsh is a good kid, and I think you need to keep, keep keep playing him so you can get more out of him. So, Wade Egan, he's a fine player, but in my opinion, he, he doesn't offer much in attacking dummy half. And cutting Nick Graham, he could just... He could just explode for a gap at any stage. So, Wade Egan, I think he needs to be dropped to the bench for a week just to see the rotation and maybe try something different. Let's get into the next game. I think it's an interesting game, and we all think it's heading one-way traffic by the price. you got the Storm at $1.08. You've got the Dragons at $8. Now, I think Pappenhausen will be back, but it's not official that he will be back for this game. Um, now, look, the Dragons, they're sitting in sixth position. Are they playing good footy, or are they just lucky to be there? Well, I think I think it's uh you know it's the two system two tier competition basically. You got the first five, and then you got the rest at the moment. I don't think the dragons are paying eight dollars bad. I might get on the old plus, the old plus uh line. What will be like fourteen, fifteen? Maybe I'll get on it. Mm. Um, mm. but you know, Storm should win. But you know, dragons are pretty aggressive, so we'll see. Oh. 
I think it's just, just a matter of time before the Dragons fall out of the top eight. You know, I love the Dragons. I want them to do well. My dad supports them. I want them to be a top eight side. But for mine, they are about maybe two or three weeks away until they actually fall out of the eight. I can't see them being there come finals time. And it's just a matter of time before the other sides take over, like Manly and maybe the Warriors. So, you know, they're playing okay. You know, I thought... The game yesterday against the Bulldogs, I thought they were, that they were flat for about 50 minutes and then they just clicked against a really poor side. If the Dragons played yesterday a team like Manly or, you know, the Gold Coast or if they play someone that's around that top eight position, they probably lose the game or they probably get flogged. So, you know, this will be a big test for them. And the only way Dragons can win is, is if they start well against Melbourne, maybe like a 10, 12 nil lead early on. But if I don't do that, Melbourne could win this game by like 40, 50. There's no doubt about that. Well, Trev, the line is currently at 21.5 and, and it's $1.90 to take the Dragons plus 21.5, which I'd probably take that as well. I'll take I it, I think yeah. the Storm, I'll give you a tip, guys. I think the Storm will win. I'll be supporting the Dragons. Won't be doing a vlog for this game. Um, but I think I think, I think, think maybe like 18, 16, 18 point win. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be crazy. The Dragons have been competitive. Papanels yeah, will play, I'm telling you right now. He will play. Nick Final Hunt's game. good though, so. Yeah, he's been fine. Final, he's been good. Final game, you got seventh place Gold Coast Titans, who were pretty dreadful in the second half. Um, towards the end against the West Tigers, they would be really embarrassed with their back-to-back -back performances. Obviously, they got a win this time, but can they can they be happy with that performance? Now, my big prediction for the entire year at the start of the year was the Penrith Panthers will go undefeated into round nine and be handed their first loss at Magic Round by the Titans. And I'm sticking by it. It's very hard to stick by it because David Fafita heads to the judiciary. If he doesn't play, there's no way Gold Coast win this game. But Gold Coast attack for mine has started really good at the start of game and been bad towards the end. If they can start that type of attack and get points on the board in Penrith, they're a good chance of winning this game. They were they didn't win it, but they were pretty big underdogs against Penrith last year at full strength Penrith. And I think they only lost by about six points as well last year. So I like the Titans here. I do. I do. Um, I hope David Fafita gets off. Penrith have been playing amazing footy, but Titans at the line and, and Titans head-to-head -head at seven. Oh, it's juicy. I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy. But... um. Because Penrith don't give away any points, especially in the first 20. And if, if Titans are trying to get off to a good start, you know, I don't think they can. I don't think Panth Penrith will let them score. And then they fall away in the second half. So, you know, uh, I like the Titans this year, but just not in this game. If you want to have a better at the Titans, maybe at the line in the first half might be a good bet for the Gold Coast. They always seem to start well, but they can't do anything in the second half. I just want to say something about the Titans now. Everyone knows I don't like them. It's, it, it, there's no secret about that. But if you have a look at the Titans' last four games, defensively it's been bad. 36 points I lost against Manly. 40 to 30, 40 points against Souths they conceded. 36 against Brisbane, who most of us concede fingers are a bottom four team. And then like last week, against or the other day against the Tigers, 28 points conceded. They're playing the best team in the competition this weekend. Fafita's probably not going to play, even if he does play. I still think Penrith win this game 26 plus. I can't see the Gold Coast going close. And I'm gonna give it away. I'm gonna have a bet on the Gold Coast under 14 points. I just I just can't see him scoring enough points to beat Penrith. And you know, because considering all those points in the last four weeks, I, I don't know where the proof and where the form is against Penrith who have been so great. So Penrith will win easy and the Gold Coast, they gotta fix their defense, you know. If I was the Gold Coast all week at training, I wouldn't even worry about attack. Do everything on defense. Honestly, do not do anything in attack. Just do defense. Because Get out the tackling bags. Yeah, get the bag out. Get, get, get them all out because this is going to be a very tough night for the Gold Coast, and I reckon Penrith will win 26-plus. I am very confident. Warriors, NRL fanatics, as well as all the boys, I want to ask this question, which I'm trying to go through and think of them all because there is quite a few, but obviously it's magic round. Um, do we lose a bit of magic with all the players that are out due to either injury or suspension? I'm trying to completely remember. Um, look, I'll give players credit. Patrick Carrigan, uh, the lock for the Bronco, he'll be out for the game. Corey Allen will be out for the Canterbury fans. 
Um, do the Raiders have anyone out at the moment? They got Joe Tarpany out. Besides that, is there anyone else? Is Jared Croker out? Croker's out. Hodson maybe. Croker's out, out you well. know. Hard to say, yeah. <laughs> You got Latrell, you Latrell Mitchell and Adam Reynolds potentially out. We'll wait and see if Reynolds is named. Um, obviously the Roosters, no Kiri, mm-hmm. um, no Brett Morris. There's just so much happening on there. Um, no Dylan Brown, probably no David Fafita. Is there too many stars missing for the Magic Round to be as exciting as it was going to be? What do we think? Well, I think I think people uh, who bought the tickets would have already bought them, but then so they're like a little bummed out that uh, people people are out. But once they get there, it'll be fine. Everyone's going to enjoy the footy, I reckon. Yeah. Well, I paid three hundred bucks for my tickets, and I, I don't, I don't care who's in or all out. I'm just keen to be there. You know, eight games of footy, sitting there with maybe some alcohol or whatever. It's going to be a great weekend. I don't care who's in and out. It's going to be great. There's a lot of big name players that are still there. You know, Caelan Ponga, Tommy Turbo, you know, Nathan Cleary, Tam Malolo, Clint Goverson, Sebo, you know, Papenhausen probably. And you know, you've got the likes of, you know. AJ Brimson and Will Kennedy's been playing well. Sean Johnson. There's still plenty of great players there. So I've got no issue with it. So, you know, I think it's going to be a great weekend regardless. I'm really looking forward to it, boys. Warriors and our fanatics, do you think it takes anything away from it? Three, two, one, bang. No. Um. Oh, I, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, yes, it's not good to have those players out, but I think it's still going to be exciting to see all the footy and all the all the all the games on it one one round. And I think it just brings a bit of a festival carnival to the the footy season. So it's like the Auckland Nines and what the Auckland Nines bought. And uh, yeah, personally, I don't think it's going to be too much too much um, of a issue. I think. It's, should still be a great round of footy to come, actually. Yes, so I'm looking forward to it, actually. But I'm looking forward to Sunday, obviously. Yeah, heading to the game on Sunday always the Paramount Eels, so I don't have to be. Fair. All right, a few technical issues there on on that end. Um, but thank you so much for jumping on, guys. Really do appreciate it. Um, it's been a really good video, and obviously this is going to be the first time that you're going to see Warriors in RL Fanatic. You're going to see Shut the Gates and Nick from Australia in an Entertain House vlog, so really exciting times ahead. My computer's going into low battery mode, so... I better put that one on charge. My NRL tips personally will be out tomorrow night and then I'll be a bit on the down low. Uh, I'll be heading to my family town of Albert Bishop Park on Wednesday as well as the Gold Coast for some uh, theme park and top golf action on Thursday. And then Magic Round begins on Friday night. So everyone else, uh, we know when when they're heading up and I hope you boys are excited for a huge weekend ahead. Bloody Kenaz, let's do it. Come on, as, when, come on the footy, and everybody, when are your tips coming out, Trev? Can't wait. Might be up tomorrow night. About eight, eight tomorrow o'clock. night, Nick. Oh. Uh, I'm not off work at one, so my tips will be about 4 10, 4 15 tomorrow. It'll be early. My tips will probably be around the 6 30, 7 30 mark. And Warriors, can I speak on your behalf? I believe your tips come out Wednesday afternoon. Am I correct? Yep. Three. Yep, two. that's right. Yep, correct. Oh, you Wednesday. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for jumping on. Make sure you subscribe to all these channels. Subscribe to me. I'm almost at 3K, which I, I really do appreciate. There'll be a huge giveaway then. Subscribe to Shut the Gate. Subscribe to Nick from Australia. Warriors. There you go. Warriors and our fanatics. Thanks so much for jumping on, guys, and go the Eels. Thanks, mate.